And yeah, this is probably among the most cursed things I've ever seen in Subnautica. Like, what am I looking at right now? Hello, my friends, and welcome to an incredibly exciting video. In front of me, I have a build of Subnautica that, chances are, you might not have ever seen before. This is the PAX 2014 build. I'm rocking a solid 440 FPS, and we have a crab snake, a peeper, and some plants from the Grand Reef. Okay, the only option now is to play demo. So let's check it out. Ooh, this is the pre-alpha, according to the name. And look at this. Yeah, no kidding, this is the demo. That's actually pretty cool for the UI. So we have the Aurora in the background. Dive underwater. Um, okay, so... Done. Get a whole fish. Can I get a different... What, what, what was that? What? Did you, what? Hello, my friends, it's me again, and the time is here. It's the plushie, it's ready, and it's out right now. Look at it, it's so freaking cute. Has the goggles, has the snorkel, yes, the goggles do actually come all the way off if you want to take them off. But most importantly, it's only available for a limited amount of time, till Friday the 23rd of February. So if you're interested at all, please jump into the description, there's a link where you can go get yourself a little bacon scuba diving peanut, and it would mean the absolute world to me. We need 200 orders to go into production, it's my first time doing merch, so it's very exciting, and I really hope that you guys like these, and I just cannot wait to see you guys get your hands on them, so thank you so much, I hope you enjoy the video. Got it, get a sea glide. All right, I'm on it. Look at this world. I mean, the, I wonder if these are just the safe shallows. Uh, we already seem to have some quartz. Yep, used to make glass. Sure, why not? There is no PDA. I can press tab as much as I want. It's not gonna do anything. And this is, uh, this is like a scuffed version of the grassy plateaus. Those peepers are having a good time. Oh yeah, look, the brain coral already re replenishes my, uh, my oxygen. I like these barnacles too. Look at this place. It looks adequately cursed. Look at these pillars here. The the light rays are um, shining from every which direction. And here is the sea glide. Find Cyclops sub. That is kind of crazy. Oh, look, it's the original stalker model in what I presume is the Kush zone? Oh, we're gonna have a proper look at the world, but I kinda just wanna follow the storyline for a bit first. Some of the earliest versions of Subnautica we've played before were from late 2014. Whoa, there's the sub. Well, the PAX that we're talking about here, the build which this was made for, was in April. Woo, find Cyclops, okay, bored, complete. Find the lava zone, what on earth? We're really speedrunning it here, aren't we? Lower deck, cannot access. Yo, there's a Seamoth here. Can I use it? I can't, dang, that looks so cool though. Can I open this? Oh wow, look at the controls here. Find the lava zone. Um, I mean, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be right here. <laughs> wow, it, it is literally right here. Can we get out, check out the lava zone? That breathing sounds very labored. Look at this, the lava zone is just on the surface. You know what this reminds me of? In the prototypes, one of them was called lava test. It kinda looked like this. Maybe this is what they were testing for. So the lava zone is pretty small here, but what lies beyond it? Actually, I cannot pass beyond that, it's an invisible wall. Wait, can I pass through without the Cyclops, or is this actually just walled off? Seems like I could get up here. This is weird looking. Already found the far lines, this is spooky. Okay, so the oxygen cheat does work. I'm gonna kinda leave the Cyclops be. We have more of the, uh, the Kush zone here. Scrap metal, that's a satisfying sound effect. Now presumably, a build like this would be used to kind of showcase the idea of the game, so that's why I imagine this looks a little bit more polished. You know, and I'm careful how I'm using that word. Oh, and that, you're welcome. I had a good time. For the amount of time we spent together, I had a good time. Is that text ever going away, or... Uh... Let me restart, and this time I'm not gonna complete all of the quests, and instead we're gonna use the time to look around a bit. I see. So we always have exactly six minutes to explore. There's a little treasure chest here. I do remember these from the prototypes. Oh, and it's gone. Now, obviously, by the time this was coming up at PAX, 
Most people would not have heard about this little interesting underwater survival game, right? I'm really curious what the initial reception was. I mean, I would imagine it must have been very positive because uh, the concept of the game is so freaking cool. And these are some very interesting biomes too. It's like the best way to describe it is that it's a mix of the twisty bridges, clearly, the Kush zone, and maybe the kelp forest because of all the stalkers. Hard to say. Okay, this is definitely not the direction I'm supposed to be going. So I am curious what we're gonna find as a treasure chest. Oh, I grabbed a treasure. Okay, it's hard to say what that treasure is supposed to be, but I grabbed one. And here we're running up against another edge of the map. So the Aurora is obviously at this point not an actual 3D model, but I wonder if there is actually a way to reach the, uh, the billboard, which I assume that's what it is that always faces the player. Yeah, it seems the rest of the map is surrounded by the lava zone. And below 50 meters or so, we also get the hardened breathing. Does the lava hurt? It does not, even though, I mean, it probably should look at this geyser too. And there are some places you can get a little bit deeper. I wonder what the deepest points here are. About 80, 90 meters deep. Maybe you could get 100 meters deep in some places. It's a cross-shaped crack here. This looks almost like the lava castle, just a very tiny version of it. All right, well, obviously we need to figure out how deep exactly does this map go. They really didn't make it too hard to get out of bounds. First, I'm gonna start heading toward the Aurora and we'll see if I can make any progress at all. If something eats me here, uh, I will poop my pants. I mean, I see those particle effects and I, I'm not sure if they're actually in the world or if they're part of the animation, but it does look like I am getting closer. The fog command did not work at this point yet, so I can't disable the fog. I quite like this original look for the Aurora, even though I do think the final version they went with is definitely superior. Crap, I wanted to explore it without having the giant text on my screen, but we might have to survive the uh, thank you for playing for a little bit. So we are getting here. Pretty sure you're not meant to go here. Uh, there's nobody here to stop me. We're gonna... We're gonna have to deal with this for a little bit, because we're literally right here. Alright, let's see what we have. First of all, does it go below water? Uh, kinda. See, we have now passed to the other side, so you can see it is indeed 2D. And yeah, this is probably among the most cursed things I've ever seen in Subnautica. Like, what am I looking at right now? Alright, one more restart. There's also zinc here, out of all things. So the final thing I want to do is I want to go check out the void. It is also not lost on me that the loading screen, if you remember, shows two players. So I wonder if the plan was, at this point, to have the game eventually be multiplayer. That also makes me wonder if there was any plans to have this be procedural. I was hoping the speed command would not speed up the timer, but it does, unfortunately. I just want to go to this lava zone because I believe it's the one where which they want you to find. Okay, I might have accidentally glitched myself into the void already. Anyways, let's head down. Let's see what we can find. We're getting a strange smoke effect. I wonder if this actually just goes to infinity. Whoa. Look at that. What am I looking at? Oh, those must be the light rays from the surface. <laughs> it looks so weird, right? I was starting to think that one creepypasta was <laughs> gonna come to life. Yes, I will dedicate the remaining two minutes to going as deep as I possibly can. Okay, gents, well, having reached 1,500 meters, unfortunately, uh, it does not appear like there is anything to be found. There's the water surface. And I would actually say it looks a little bit less spooky down here given all of this smoke. And guys, just to wrap up, I want to celebrate how far we've really come in this game. So why don't you enjoy a little bit of an edit of what used to be versus what we have now in 2024. Enjoy.
But that brings us to the end of the video, so I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. All of those would be very much appreciated. Please go check out the plushie. I am so excited for it to finally be out. You can go into the description, there's a link, you can click it, and you can get yourself a nice bacon-styled plush to decorate your bedside or your shelves or whatever you'd like. It would mean the absolute world to me, and with that, I want to wish you all a beautiful rest of the day, and I'll see you guys in whatever next video I make. Bye-bye!